And hello and welcome to another segment of Ted TV. We're sitting here with Larry Hankin, and this is the fourth segment. So if you're just tuning in, you gotta go back and go get it from the beginning. We had Scarlet Savage on the end down there, and we're having a great conversation. We were just talking about <laughs> the talking club. stick, um, and we had a movie night here, the talking stick. Larry brought us a, talk, a movie night on the talking stick. And it was a great movie, and um, there was one thing I wanted to ask you about it. Give it to the timer. Stop timing on me. Close. Um, all right. What I um, was, like, if you don't mind me saying, I, I'm a homeless man, and I choose to be homeless, and I'm enjoying this homeless lifestyle. I was homeless, too. And that's what I wanted to ask you. It's homeless by choice. So the stories it was just so much like God, it, comes it touched me. I, I related to your film very well. in my car for a year. Ha! Rock on! See? <laughs> See, I, See I, don't I, give up I on me, folks. I can't do the homeless thing, but I, I, I'm homeless with a boyfriend, and I live in his place. So right, right. Of, but I live with my boyfriend. Yeah, you can very live in different. the car I, okay, without fine. a shower. You're I bathed right. for you today, just so you know. Although, I bathed and shaved for months for a guest. Chad would rather where? Where, where, where did you Where did you go? Uh, I, I, I have a, there's a community house I can go to. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you don't know, uh, you have different times at different right. times houses. For right. can, I can't come with my wife's here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you got to stop coming. She's got her mother's coming in the next week. Ted was always uh, killed taking a shower at my house because I have to use so much conditioner for my hair. At the bottom of the shower, he was like, Scarlet, I almost fell and broke all my ribs. Yeah, well, that was pretty scary. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh I was sitting, yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I wouldn't even be bragging yeah. about that. It's not like I was walking on the bottom of a yeah, slimy pond. I know, I'm I like, felt what so is bad. This? Waking well, up, up. Waking and I was up. taking a shower, holding on yeah. to things. It was so sweet. Well, my, my boyfriend and I, I her and her boyfriend really have long hair. hair. They yeah. use car grease to wash <laughs> I don't know. Why wouldn't you bring this up, Scarlett? But you did. This is funny. real TV. You made me laugh. Good. Um, no, I, yeah, it's fun. You know, I was in Venice uh, and I was bunk. I come here with my gym membership, um, 24 Hour Fitness. Yeah, that's another guy who's living in his car. He's got a gym membership. I didn't. I, I kind of was. I probably had enough for a gym membership, but it never occurred to me. I was taking two showers at friends' houses. Uh, and uh, we had bathrooms all over the place. How do you phone people? Because there wasn't any uh, cell, phones. Your cell phones back in the day. And so you, you'd have to get messages and you'd have to make appointments to. to oh, man. Yeah. And then where do you park at night? Because right, right. this was up in San Francisco and oh, you were a moving target because you couldn't. Uh, moving target here in Venice, too. Two, I don't from know. Two to six or something you couldn't. Oh, oh yeah, the rules. The hours. And yeah, then you get you walk away and you come back and your battery's gone. You can't move the car and there's no parking <laughs> on this side on Wednesday and you don't have a battery. And how you do? Oh, I man. have so it's many tickets. Very complex. Oh yeah. Very complex. The logistics of not the logistics of living in your car is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to it, and um, and then and me because I just own so much stuff. I mean, I got a Honda generator in my car too. Whoa. Well, too good because I, I that's how this TED TV kit started. Was I was just I, I grabbed things that I own and put together this rolling wagon with electricity and music and live stream, and, and we started. We started on the boardwalk in Venice, and now we're in the talking stick with Larry Hank. Indoors. Two weeks later. Two weeks later. Indoors in the bathroom. Yeah. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, I, when I moved, in, I, I came down here from San Francisco. I actually came down from Vancouver, Washington, because I had a breakdown in San Francisco. Went to my Benny Ford clinic in, in uh, Vancouver, Washington, and then tried to go back to San Francisco, and I'm thinking, no, let me go visit Scarlett down in Santa Monica before I make a life in San Francisco and I'll never get down to LA. And I came down to visit Scarlett, that was like from February 4th, visited her for three days. I'm like, I can't leave. Well, I'm a, this is way better than San Francisco. I've never been on the west side of LA. I've never been to live in Santa Monica for three days. I'm like, I'm not leaving. So this, I thought, I'm not moving in my car. It's not going to be my pack that you live in. I have to have a generator in there. You start to uh, arrange when, uh, writing a screenplay for. Um, well, I started a, I started a screenplay about 30 years ago for myself. 
you need to put it away. Every once in a while, when I have nothing to do, I, I go back. Well, I'm talking about the uh, road. It's for a, it's for a 32 year old guy uh, who's living in his car. <laughs> there you go. And it's about my time. Uh, it's, it's how I got from my car to a real house. Uh, moved in with a girl. Uh, moved in with a girl. Uh, I'm thinking about that. And then all of a sudden, you're going in bed as Sponsor Ted. alone in a car to my family. It's just, uh, it's like being on this. Uh, it's just, you know, whoa, yeah, it is. It's just, whoa. Uh, but uh, he has his, and I did, he has his, his car, because he lives in it, arranged like a little, uh, like an ocean going dinghy, a uh, kitchen. <laughs> you know how. How an ocean going dinghy is a, it's very small and everything is arranged and really well that's how he's got his car arranged. I was just thinking how you would well, we go go do a tour of my car if you want but it's a little you know, everything, it's, it's, everything, that, everything. But it's all jerry rigged all right? made up in second hand right? but everything has its place yes it does. yes it does yes it does now how long how long did you one year living in the car well yeah one year and then I, I met this the girl. Uh, Did you just do that out of uh, convenience? Like, you know, no, I. You, you know, one thing leads to an, another. I, I, it's it's it goes by increments, and then all of a sudden you're there, and you go, okay, cool. I don't have to pay rent. You know, all of a sudden you start to see the upside of being homeless. Right, right. You know, in Ted's case, there he is wasn't working jobs upside. he hated. Uh, you know. Uh, what happened was I was living in a very small um, uh, houseboat in, in uh, San Francisco, and I was working in a theater, like se- kind of like Second City in, in San Francisco. And yes, Second out. City. We need to talk about yeah. Second City. You've got a huge mm-hmm. Second City flood yeah. in you. So that's um, amazing. I did not know this. I really, uh, I've done a so lot. many. <laughs> See, now this is what you come on my program. I'm going to learn a lot about you because we're doing our homework, and I have to learn so much. I wanted to. Uh, Second so anyway, City. I was, uh, yeah, we, we left there, and, and uh, I left Second City in Chicago. And we opened up a bunch of rebels. We didn't like, we didn't like what was going on in Second City, so we, <laughs> right. five of us just went across. So we settled in the San Francisco, oh, opened up a theater. It was very successful, but um, I was living in a house, a very small one, kind of a, a almost like living in a. But it was kind of nice. Anyway, I I went to New York for three months to help a friend write a movie. And instead of sending, because I didn't know where to send the the, the rent, what I would do is I just row in to the pier, and the landlady lived on the dock there. And I would just give her cash or give her a check every every month. So there was no mail. I just roll in and give her the check. Fine. So I went to New York for three months, and I didn't know where to send the check. I, there was no address. I don't you know pier. Uh, you know pier five. I, so I thought, well, I'll just not. I'll just save it, and when I get back, I'll give it a whole thing. I'll tell you that. So three months went by. Now I had forgotten and that. The landlady was crazy. Oh no! Really crazy, and mostly this uh, this dock, which was also a junkyard, literally a junkyard in the dock, and houseboats living off of it that she owned. Wow! That were kind of junkers, really cheap, but you were living in a houseboat on the bay. Uh, so her husband was keeping this all together, and I didn't know that. I would always pay her. She owned the property. But she was crazy, and so I came back, rode out to my house, and it was totally empty. Totally empty, clean, washed, nothing. And I go, no. I rode back in, and I go, uh, and, I, and her husband is standing there watching me. So I go, hey man, where's my stuff? And he goes, where's the rent? And I said, here's the rent. Where's my stuff? And she said, oh well. Been around for three months. Oh my God! And I go, yeah, but yeah, but. And he goes, so, so my wife uh, threw everything overboard. Oh my goodness! I go, oh my God! You, you mean really threw my shit overboard? <laughs> she said, yeah, she just went out there and. I thought he didn't give her the. Never oh the man! Everything that I owe. Oh, I'm so single, sorry. All, all the great writing, all the oh. writing, <laughs> all the greatest things I've ever written. <laughs> 
And we gotta and we'll hold on that pause. I wanna go to YouTube right away. You guys don't wanna wait. Hold on, be back in two.